Good morning, folks. We've got Stellarium pulled up here. You can get it at Stellarium.org. Well, this is last night, so let me send Venus on her way, speed up the clock through the night. Moon, Jupiter, and Orion in a cluster. Then as we approach morning, we see Mars now well separated from the main attraction down at the horizon. Folks, as fast as it came, it appears ice on visibility is about over until post-perihelion. She's so close, blazing so fast, and the sun now pollutes visibility in the morning nearly worldwide. Tomorrow we'll begin leaning on the solar observing fleet for shots of ice on. Very interesting here. A new mission to measure all the sun's energy coming at Earth, not just ultraviolet irradiance. Remember, this is one of my harshest criticisms against flawed solar forcing models. The NOAA program originates out of the University of Colorado, LASP, and for those really up on your game, you know who's running it. That's right. One of the many internationally recognized experts quoted for the solar shutdown during climate number three. Many thought it was simply a review video, but where we've had Maunder data and statements about the correlations and how weak the last minimum was, so far it was just us and our daily observations calling the solar magnetic shutdown and potential mini ice age. But now the best and most respected scientists on earth see and communicate what you've been watching here every day. If you haven't seen climate number three, it's the game changer among those videos. Gotta watch. Very interesting article here. Going back and reviewing the Viking experiments. It appears Mars environment may not preserve organic compounds very well, and therefore a lot of evidence might have been missed in our analysis. Something you'll catch more of in the Starwater series. Best proof yet of galactic jets at the center of our Milky Way. There is a volcano way, way south in Japan. It's just created a new island. Here are the pictures coming in from across the Pacific. Every red dot here is a confirmed tornado from last week. They aren't done counting, but it's already shattered the November outbreak record. Looking to India, we see Cyclone Helen cresting the coastline of the subcontinent now. Same area was hit hard back in October where a mass evac saved thousands of lives. Coming away from Helen to the southwest and looking at a portion of Africa that cannot stop getting hit with hailstorms. That makes three major ones for this area this month. Also, the areas I pointed out in South America as being under potential flood threat the last few days have seen it come to fruition. Widespread, moderate to high risk zones. By the way, they had to raise the satellite up to avoid debris in orbit. They are in the clear now. Solar flaring looked like it was going to be coming back, but indeed tailed off. We had sunspot numbers in the 200s days ago, but now a few large umbras masquerade about in near solidarity. The mega spot is turning away now, almost gone, but we can still see the tremendous vortex. Beta meshing returned to the magneto and Doppler grams. Beautiful. Space weather is calming. Density, speed, and plasma temp all going down, along with the KP index readings. Electrons show calm conditions. Top eruptive threats on the sun have now become the plasma filaments we see turning in and on the disk. Without space weather, we look to coronal holes, which are showing moderate power this morning, more down south, but which is moderately blocked by the larger umbral and coronal fields. Planet watchers see Mercury conjoining Saturn in four days, Venus and Jupiter nearly in opposition now. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear at 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.